Mercutio says that Romeo is now so in love with Rosaline that he'll imitate the famous poet Petrarch. As he puts it, now is he for the numbers that Petrarch flowed in. Petrarch, who spent much of his life composing love sonnets to a beautiful woman named Laura. And apparently, Romeo would consider Laura a kitchen worker compared to his Rosaline. Laura to his lady was but a kitchen wench. Mercutio now rattles off a list of famous beauties from classical literature, who, in Romeo's eyes, would pale in comparison to Rosaline. Dido a dowdy, Cleopatra a gypsy, Helen and Hero, Hildings and Harlots, Thisbe a gray eye or so, but not to the purpose. Dido is a character from Virgil's epic, the Aeneid. She's the queen of Carthage who falls in love with the Trojan warrior Aeneas. When Aeneas sails away, abandoning her, she kills herself from despair. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of Egypt, who seduced Julius Caesar, and after he died, she then seduced Mark Anthony, a Roman general. After their army is defeated by Augustus, she commits suicide by letting herself be bitten by a poisonous snake. Helen of Troy was the beautiful Greek queen whose kidnapping set off the Trojan War, as told in Homer's Iliad. Hero, according to Greek myth, was a priestess of Aphrodite, the goddess of love. Her lover, Leander, swam across a channel every night to be with her, until one evening he drowned in a storm. Distraught, Hero threw herself from her tower. Thisbe is a character from a poem by the Roman poet Ovid. Thisbe and Pyramus are in love, but prohibited from seeing each other by their parents' rivalry. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds familiar. Pyramus commits suicide, thinking that Thisbe is dead, but she isn't. When Thisbe realizes he's dead, she kills herself with his sword. As an aside, Mercutio jokes that he personally thinks Thisbe had beautiful eyes, but that's beside the point. Shakespeare's audience would have seen the significance of the comparison to Thisbe, since the Thisbe Pyramus legend was the source for the Romeo and Juliet story. But more generally, all these examples are tragic love stories where love ends in death. Shakespeare's hinting at his own plot, and he's also telling us that these teenagers are following a tradition of a certain kind of romantic love. <laughs>